Pakistan boasted as having the most expensive drone fleet in South Asia. Operating the Turkish Bayraktar TB2 and the more advanced Akinci. Both these drones are very much capable, but none of these drones were used during the three days war with India from May 7 to May 10. Where did they go? Pakistan instead used the much smaller and basic Turkish Ashishgard Songa drone. What were the Pakistan army concerns in deploying these advanced drones in the battlefield? Was it the S-400 defense system of India or the intense electromagnetic jamming? Let us explore the possible reason for the non-deployment of these drones. Pakistan operates two types of drones. One is a strike or reconnaissance drone. The other is a kamagasi or suicide drone, also called loitering munitions. Strike drones are big drones used for precision missile attacks. On the other hand, the suicide drones are smaller in size and are launched in large numbers to overwhelm enemy targets. The Pakistan Air Force operates almost seven Bayraktar Kinsis. This is a high-altitude, long-endurance drone. It's being manufactured by the Turkish defense company Bayraktar. Introduced in 2021, it has a maximum takeoff weight of 5,500 kgs, a range of 7,500 kilometers, maximum altitude of 45,000 feet, and an endurance of 25 hours. The Akinci is the advanced version of the Bayraktar TB2. The Bayraktar drone was a game changer in the Nagaro Karabakh war, helping Azerbaijan gain control over all of Nagaro Karabakh region from Armenia. Pakistan's biggest drone fleet is a Chinese made CH 24 Rainbow. This is also a strike drone and it looks almost identical to the General Atomics MQ 9 Reaper. The CH 4 is capable of firing air to ground missiles from an altitude of 5,000 meters or 16,400 feet, meaning the aircraft is capable of staying outside the effective range of most anti-aircraft guns. This drone has a payload of 345 kgs and an endurance of 40 hours. Pakistan's Kamakazi drone is a Turkish-made Ashish Songa drone. This is a large drone capable of carrying an 81mm motor for a 10km range. Pakistan used some 300 to 400 of these drones to attack 36 sites in India. However, India shot down these drones using the upgraded L-70 gun. The L-70 fired the 40mm rounds. While Pakistan did use their Kamakasi drone in large numbers, they did not deploy its main strike drone, the CH-4 and the Bayraktar. Why? For this reason, we need to understand India's air defense systems. India's air defense system consists of the S-400 Triumph from Russia, the MR-SAM, which is an Indo-Israel joint development, and the Akar surface-to-air missile system. The S-400 defense system is India's prized purchase. It is considered the most effective air defense system in the world. The S-400 consists of a surveillance radar, a tracking radar, a command unit, and a missile launcher. The S-400 has four types of missiles based on the range. The missile ranges are 120 km, 200 km, 240 km and 380 km. India actually purchased 60 launches with 6,000 missiles from Russia. The S-400 surveillance radar will scan the skies and track targets. It can track up to 300 targets. Once a target is detected, the command post will decide whether the target is a friend or foe. Once a target is identified, the command post can fire one of the four types of missile depending on the range. The S-400 is a highly reliable and accurate system that the US and the NATO fears. The Akash missile system is an indigenous medium-range surface-to-air missile system of India. An Akash battery comprises a single PESAR 3D radar and four launchers with three missiles each, all of which are interlinked. Each battery can track up to 64 targets and attack up to 12 of them. The Akash system has an operational range of up to 30 kilometers. Each missile has a 60 kg high explosive pre-fragmented warhead with a proximity fuse. The Akash system is fully mobile and capable of protecting a moving convoy of vehicles. The Akash missile system was instrumental in Operation Sindhu. The Bayraktar and the Akinsi drones were game changers during the initial days of launch as in the Nagaro-Karabakh war. 
The air defense radars at that time were not used to tracking slow-moving drones like the Bayraktar, whose maximum speed is just 130 km per hour, which is very slow compared to supersonic jets. Another big blow to drones was electronic jamming. Drones are operated by drone operators, miles away using electronic signals. The drones also use satellite signals for navigation. Both these signals can be jammed. The Indian Army have built specialized jammers that can jam the drone signals, thereby disconnecting the drone from its operator. This makes a drone to lose control and fall from the sky. The GPS signal can also be spoofed, meaning the drone was given the wrong GPS coordinates to be misguided to a wrong location. The effectiveness of jamming was seen with the Chinese-made PL-15E missiles. The PL-15 is a beyond visual range missile with a range of 200 km. But beyond 50 km, the Earth's curvature blocks visibility. So after the PL-15 missile is fired from a Pakistani fighter jet, it needs to be guided using the data link from the fighter jet to its target. But India jammed the data link between the missile and the fighter plane. So the missile lost its guidance and fell and exploded to the ground. Effective jamming combined with the threat of the S-400 and the Akash missile defense system ensured that no Pakistani drones like the Bayraktar TB-2 and the Kinsi would have survived if it was used in Operation Sindhu. Hence, the Pakistani military did not use these drones in the three days conflict with India. Like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.